Hey everybody. Alright. All work. Hey. Good evening or whatever. Um, <laughs> wherever you are in your day. Um, my name is John. This is uh, Core Master the Clinic uh, Part 2. Part 2 of 3. All right, and Kormasin, if you're unfamiliar, is a, uh, it's a posture that's, you know, kind of in the middle, really like about two-thirds of the way through the primary series, uh, the Ashtanga method. It's, um, you know, it's oddly accessible in that modifications are readily available, um, but achieving this posture, I mean, for me, uh, for, you know, to my total honesty, it's, a, it's like a been a wild ride for me <laughs> over the past, uh, I've been practicing Ashtanga now for, uh, I guess since 08 ish. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it has, its, it has its ups and downs, you know, now well into my forties, sometimes it's more down than up, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the thing is, you know, with this posture is it's it, like I mentioned, it's, it's, accessible because of its ability your ability to kind of like modify it and change its shape the ideal shape of course is something that for myself kind of comes and goes uh for some people it comes very naturally and others it might take a very long time um today uh it might be very useful for you if you have um a towel or if you have a belt or a strap or something like that um, it doesn't necessarily mean that a towel or a belt or a strap is going to be um, very helpful in the exercises that we do today, but who knows? We'll give it a shot and just kind of see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, as those of you who have been through this, you know how it kind of works. We go through a nice flow. We get our little yoga practice on. Basically, a lot of the stuff that we do is built to um, support the pose. I, Go back to the first video because I talk a lot about strengthening in the shoulders and the hips. I'll do some core work today. We'll do a lot of back strengthening again today, um, and we'll work on those shoulders as well. But um, you know, we you know I go in depth about like how why it's important to do all that stuff. So um, check out the first uh, the first episode if you will, and uh, enjoy the second one once you have uh, completed that first one. Now we repeat a lot of the same stuff as we do. Um, in, in this uh, second part as we did the first part. So the sequence is going to be very uh, similar for sure, but with a little less detail. So um, enough of me yammering on. We should probably get started because this is only like a 45-minute class and we're already probably a few minutes in. Okay, so uh, why don't we come to stand at the top of the mat. I always like to, you know, tune in and tune out with an ohm. So let's uh, take our hands to our heart. I say nice and tall. Let's take a full inhale. Oh. Wonderful. All right, let's get started with some sun citations. All right, so step to the top of your mat, toes touch if you can. Standing tall, shoulders back, chin even level with the floor, the chest rising, the belly firm. Let's first move to an exhale. Inhale, arms rise up, gaze to thumbs. And exhale and fold. We'll take the inhale, look up halfway, lengthen, and exhale, plant your hands, step or float your way back and look. Either chaturanga or to your belly, your choice. Inhale, either up dog or cobra. And into down dog, exhale. Now, like we did last week, we're going to lower knees to our mat. And we're going to go through a few rounds of cat cows. Point the toes back. Inhale, your chin lifts. The tailbone lifts, the belly drops. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin. Tuck the tail, look to the navel, round the spine. Right, inhaling into that cow pose, belly drops, chin tail lifts, and exhale, we tuck the chin and we round the spine in cat pose. Now we're going to go through a few cycles of this, so continue at your own pace, a right, very um, familiar uh, sequence of poses, so just warming up the spine, uh, but more importantly, again, as stated in the first um, part of this uh, you know, uh, series of practices, um, we have uh, the movement of the pelvis that we really want to explore, all right? So, you know, as you move into cat pose like I am right now, rounding the spine, we're moving into a posterior tilt. So there's that kind of, uh, you know, kind of roundness there at the low, low back by your butt. And as you inhale into cow pose, 
the tailbone tips up and we're moving into an anterior tilt. Um, so as you continue to go through this, and if you did practice last week, you'll know that the posture itself is going to cause the pelvis to move into a posterior tilt, right? That is this cat shape. Now, as we advance in the pose, the better we can articulate an anterior tilt, um, the more proficient, the lighter the pose becomes. Now, there's a lot of variables, right, that go into uh, creating the, um, those really efficient dynamics in, uh, in the body. And one, of course, is the hamstrings, and the other one's like the low back, and some core work, and things like that. All right, so anyway, let's get to down dog. So exhale, touch your toes, lift your hips on up, and find your first down dog. I breathe fully here for just three breaths. Three. Two. And one. Now, exhale, bendy step, or float your way to the top of your mat. And if you can, toes touch, we take an inhale. Let's look up halfway and lengthen. And then full exhale. Inhale, let's rise up, reach up, gaze the thumbs. And so let's take the exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, arms rise, gaze up. And then fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway length, and exhale, step or float back lower. Turn around over to your belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, down dog. So, lower your knees to your mat. We're going to take tabletop position. All right, so try to keep everything nice and level here through the spine. The ribs are rising. As you inhale, I want you to extend the right leg back and the left arm forward and up. But breathing here, one, the right inner thigh reaches up and the left elbow draws down towards your mat. Two, keep the ribs rising, the uh, chin kind of tucked slightly. Three, you're kind of reaching out through the crown of your head. Four, and five. Exhale, the right knee, left hand comes down, tuck the toes, lift up, down dog. One, five breaths here. Two, three, four, And five. Now exhale, bend those knees, step or float your way to the top of your mat. We take an inhale, look up halfway, lengthen, and then we'll fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up the stand, reach up. And some of us exhale. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back lower. Inhale, dog or cobra. And down dog, exhale. Now the knees come down again. This time, left leg back and up and right arm forward and up. One. This time, keep that left inner thigh rotating up and the left, right elbow rotating down. Two. Keep the ribs up, spine long. Three. Four. And five. Exhale. Knee and hand down. Tuck toes. Hips rise. Down dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Then relax the eyes and the jaw. Four. And stay focused on your breath. And five. Exhale. Any step or float to the top. Halfway inhale, lengthen, and then we'll fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach up, and gaze up. And so let's take the exhale. So let's take the B, inhale, knees bend, arms rise, gaze to thumbs, and then fold, exhale. Halfway inhale, lengthen, and exhale, step or float back, lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Now, right foot forward, left heel down, warrior one. Inhale, rise up, gaze up. Exhale, touch down, step back and lower. Keep your chin up. Inhale. To down dog, exhale. 
Now that left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, rise up, gaze up. Exhale, touch down, step back and lower. Control your breathing, full inhale. And into down dog, exhale. One. Two. Full deep breaths. Three. Four. And five. Exhale, step the float to the top. Halfway inhale, lengthen. Hold that exhale. Inhale, knees bend, arms rise, gaze the thumbs. And so let's get the exhale. Where's one more? Inhale, knees bend, arms rise. And fold down. Halfway in hand. And chaturanga, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot forward, left heel down. Inhale. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot forward. Inhale. Exhale. Smooth, even breathing. Full inhale. Down dog, exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, exhale to the top. Halfway inhale, lengthen. Let's fold, exhale. Utkatasana, inhale. Knees bend, arms rise, gaze to thumbs. And to stand, samastiti. Exhale, hands to hips, hop, feet, hips, distance. Inhale, look up, elbows back. We'll take Padibhushasana, exhale, fold. Catch big toes, first two fingers of each hand. And then inhale, look up, halfway, lengthen. And then we'll fold, exhale. One, keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Two, wrap the elbows towards your shins. Three, squeeze the shins towards one another as the heels move away. Four. And five. Now inhale, let's look up half foot. Exhale, hands dips. Inhale, reach the arms out wide. Keep your flat back. Chin up, breathe here. One, so the arms like little airplane arms. Two, all right, breathe steady and fluid. Three, keep your chin up, the upper back strong. Four, and five. Warrior three, left knee lifts into the chest and then extend it back. Keep the left inner thigh reaching up. One, two, Three, I keep your breath full. Four, and five. Warrior one, right? We bend softly, lay the left foot, arms rise up, inhale, reach up, gaze up. Now exhale your hands behind your back. It's a couple warriors, so interlace your fingers, or if you have really tight shoulders, you can grab that towel or belt or something. Inhale, the knuckles draw towards the left heel, chest up. And then exhale, fold to the inside of that right knee. Try to take the hips. Inhale, rise back up, chest up, chin up. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, rise up, reach up. Keep that right knee bending, chest up. Exhale, fold. Keep the right hip drawing back and in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Get lower if you can. Inhale, rise up, chest up, chin up, and then exhale, fold and hold. Now inhale here, exhale, turn the lower hips. Inhale, a little straightening of the right leg, just a little more. Exhale, sit. Inhale, straight, just a little bit, not all the way. Exhale, sit. Inhale, straight. 
Exhale, sink. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Warrior one. Inhale, arms rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to hips. We're going to move to eagle pose. See if I have any better luck this week. Inhale, wrap the left leg around the right. Find your balance. We're going to wrap that left leg around. Maybe the left foot hooks the lower right leg. Get a little closer there. Now, right arm underneath left. Entangle those arms. And if you can, palms press. Lift the elbows. Hands press away. And then draw the shoulder blades back. So, don't you want to build strength in the back of the body between the shoulder blades? One, focus and breathe. Two, so we're about stretching the upper arms to the shoulders, but I also want you to work on that strengthening part. Three, four, and keep drawing shoulder blades towards one another. Complement the action of the posture. And five, samastiti, exhale, unwind. Inhale, arms rise up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, step or float back lower, chaturanga. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. Now, stay in down dog. And what I want you to do is take an inhale and lift the chin. Try to stick your butt out a little bit. And then as you exhale, I want you to take like a cat pose in your dog pose. Tuck the chin round the spine. Separate the feet towards the width of your mat. As you inhale, again, you're going to stick your butt out, try to press back towards the heels. Let the belly drop so you're finding some cow shape in your dog pose. And then exhale your way into that cat shape in your dog pose. Three more like that. Inhale. Notice that, you know, if you're feeling those hamstrings, you're going to fully straighten the legs. Let the navel drop between the legs. You might feel deeper stretch of the hamstrings. Exhale. And we find that cat shape. Two more. Inhale. Remember, press back. Well, if you need to, of course, the knees remain bent. Right? We're not going to have, all of us don't have the level of flexibility some others do. Exhale. We take one more inhale. Right? Press it back. And so these bent variations, totally fine. We're going to find that in the pose as well. And now exhale, bend knees, type of float, top of the mat. Inhale, let's look up halfway. And then fold, exhale. Knees bend, arms rise, Utkatasana, inhale. To stand, exhale, hands to hips, hop feet, hips distance, inhale, take a look up. Parastasana, exhale, fold, step on palms, toes to wrists. Inhale, look up halfway, and then fold, exhale. One. Remember, draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Two. Three, if you can, if you can, fully straighten the legs, lift the kneecaps onto the thighs. Four, we're doing some quad work today, that's for sure. And five, inhale, halfway, hands to hips, exhale, keep a flat back, chin up, inhale, arms reach wide, like that airplane position again, one. Two, do you feel like you're squeezing those shins in? Try to lift pinky toe edges. Three, get out of the heels. Rock forward a little bit. Four, mindful of sensitivity of those hamstrings, of course. And five, this time, right leg lifts. Back it up for that warrior three variation. One, the right knee points down, right inner thigh lifts up. Two, three. Breathe full. Four. And five. Warrior one. Softly land right foot, left knee bends. Inhale, arms rise up, reach up. And right away, exhale, hands behind your back. Remember, to interlace those fingers. Other finger on top. Inhale, draw the knuckles towards right heel, chest up, chin up. And then exhale and fold. Do this with the breath. Inhale, rise up. Remember, first chest, then chin. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Chest, then chin. Exhale. Sink low. Keep that left hip drawing into the right. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale, hold. 
Try to keep the position, bow the head, take an inhale, softly straighten the left leg, not fully. Exhale, bend, sink hips. Inhale, softly straighten. Exhale, sink. Inhale, softly straighten. Exhale, sink. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Warrior one. Inhale, arms rise up, reach up. Hands to hips, exhale. Balancing for eagle pose. Inhale, that right leg wraps left. All right, we're going to wrap the right leg around the left if you can. All right. And this time, that left arm underneath of right. All right, elbows up. One of my nemesis postures. <laughs> Elbows up, hands move away from the face. All right. Then once you're here, breathing, of course, try to retract the shoulder blades. Move them towards one. Feel some of those muscles work between the shoulder blades. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, exhale, release, samastiti. Inhale, arms rise up, reach up, gaze up. We'll fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale, lengthen it. Chaturanga, quietly exhale. Inhale, down dog, exhale. Warrior two, right foot forward, left heel down, unwind, inhale, gaze over right middle finger. One. Shoulder blades draw back and down, and ribs move in and down. Two. Right knee over ankle. Three. Four. Step strong into that left foot. Five. Now extended side angle. Exhale, form to thigh or hand outside of the foot. Reaching left arm over the ear, gaze left up. One. Really step strong into the left foot. Two. Three, steady, smooth breathing, four, and five, inhale, come on up, hands to hips, exhale, toes in, heels out, standing straddle position, take an inhale, look up, and then fold, exhale, take hands between feet, let's take that inhale, look again, look up halfway, and then fold, exhale, one, Two, just scrub in with those feet, keep those legs strong. Three, and those inner thigh muscles so active. And four, and five. Inhale, we'll look up halfway length and exhale, walk those hands top of the mat. Now, lizard pose, back heel lifts, keep hands to the inside of the right foot, chin up, inhale. And then exhale, you might lower your elbows down onto your mat or onto a stack of bones. And one, I keep breathing here. Two, back leg strong, right knee squeezing in. Three, four, and five. Inhale, come up onto those hands. I'm first going to take those, uh, that right arm, if you can, underneath of the right leg. We're going to take those airplane arms again. Now, if not, remember, like last week, maybe you just ride above it. So, right arm under, if you can. One, keep the right knee squeezing in, back leg strong. Two, find your balance. Three. Four. And relax the jaw. And five. Now exhale your hands down. Keep that right arm underneath your right leg if you can. Hand to the outside of the foot. All right, let's take an inhale, chin up. And as you exhale, we're going to try to straighten the right leg. Notice the leg's going to be pressing into the arm if it's underneath. So I want you to push back with that right arm again like we did last week. Inhale, rock forward into the lunge, chin up. And then exhale, again, straighten and resist. Three more. Inhale, forward. Exhale back. Resist. Right? Press the arm. We'll just strengthen the arm. Inhale forward. Exhale back. 
right? Resist, resist, resist. Inhale forward. And then exhale back. Resist. Inhale forward. Now, I'm going to take a right arm underneath the right leg. Notice where my hand position is. All right, so I'm trying to keep my palm face up here. All right, now the left arm goes round back. If you need to lower the left heel, you can. And this is also where you might need that towel. Right? Use a towel if you need to to connect the hands. Uh, try to catch your left wrist if you can. Now you're going to set that left leg forward. Many of us know where we're going from here, right? Bird of paradise. Then you're going to come up onto the tippy toes of that right foot. Stay soft in the left knee. Inhale and just come up on the stand. Don't worry about fully straightening out that right leg, okay? Now, once you do have your balance, I want you to work on that strength of the quadricep here because we're just going to inhale, attempt to straighten as best you can, and exhale, soften. Or more, inhale, straight if you can. Exhale, soften. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep the right shoulder blade down. Exhale, right shoulder back. One more. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release, nice and easy. Good, right leg goes back. Good, reverse warrior. Unwind, you know, keep the left arm behind your back, reach right arm up, stretch the right side body, keep the knee over the ankle, chaturanga. Exhale, hands down, step back, and lower. Inhale, and down dog, exhale. All right, left foot forward. Right heel down, unwind for warrior two first. Gaze left middle finger. One. Good, breathe full two. Make it work on that strength. Three, stability, so important. It cannot be all flexibility. Four. Get lower. And five, into extended side angle exhale, either four on the thigh or hand outside the foot. Reaching right arm over the ear, gaze right thumb. One. Two. And learn to breathe full deep breaths. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, come on up. Hands to hips, exhale, toes in, heels out. Inhale, arms reach wide. And then exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Some fundamental, fundamental postures. Inhale, straight arms, chest up. And then fold, exhale. Breathing in. One. Two. Three. And then make sure you're tipping weight out of the heels and squeeze in with your legs. Four. And five. Inhale, thumb up just halfway. Hands to your mat, lizard pose. Exhale, walk hands, top of the mat. Back heel lifts, chin up, inhale. And then exhale. Again, maybe your forearms lower down to the mat or two books. What? Right? Those of you familiar with the vinyasa classes I've been teaching recently, very familiar with the sequence. Two. So make sure, if that's the case, fall into your breathing. Remember, three. As much as we're trying to kind of wake the body up to the possibilities of this posture, four, that it's still a pranayama practice, still breathing practice. And five. And then inhale, come up onto your hands. Now remember, if the left arm does not go underneath the left leg, it's not a big deal, okay? We're going to take either one, the arms above, right, body above left leg, or if you can, take that left arm underneath of the left leg, Arms go wide like those airplane arms again. One. Find your balance. Breathe strong. Mula Bundy here. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now, frame out that foot. Remember, some of us are likely to have the left arm under. Others, maybe you're framing the front of the foot with the arm on top. So chin up, inhale. And then as you exhale, try to straighten out that left leg and resist with the left arm. Push back, strengthen the shoulder. Inhale, rock forward into the lunge. 
And then exhale, back and fold. Resist. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Two more. Exhale, back. Resist. Inhale, forward. And then exhale, back. Then we inhale, rock forward. And exhale, we're going to bring the left arm underneath the leg, hand to the back. Remember, palm up if you can. Then that right arm goes around back. Remember, if you need to, right heel can come down like extended side angle or warrior two. Now, if you can, left hand catches right wrist or use that towel if you need to. All right. Now, if you can, we then step right foot forward, readying ourselves for bird of paradise. We come onto the toes of the left foot. Press into the right leg. Inhale, achieve your balance. Mm-hmm. All right, once you have that balance, we're going to inhale, try to straighten left leg. Doesn't have to fully straighten. Exhale, soften. You got left shoulder back. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, relax. Three more. Inhale, remember, work on your left shoulder. Exhale, back. Inhale, straighten. All right, that left quadricep, really active. Exhale, soften. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Gently release. Moving back to that warrior two legs. Unwind, reverse warrior, right arm behind your back, left knee, over ankle, left arm up, and now stretch left side. And then into, turn around the exhale. Hands down, step forth, back lower. Full inhale, up dog. And then into down dog, exhale. All right. So let's um, come down to our knees for a moment. I'm going to have to switch sides because I'm going to run out of real estate here. And I want to work on some uh, leg hip strength as well. So we're here in tabletop position. You might have to adjust your left leg into kind of like midline. So inhale and reach that right leg out, kind of like a dog pee. All right. All right, so from this position, try to keep the core nice and strong, right? Now we're going to inhale and just straighten out that right leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Like Colleen, if you happen to be practicing, skip this. Inhale, straighten. So lots of oblique work. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, soften. One more. Inhale, and exhale, lowering that right knee down. Uh, if you're like me and you're pressed against the wall, turn yourself around. Give yourself some real estate to work. Right knee moves into the uh, midline of the posture. We take that dog peeing pose. That's the official name of it. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, soften. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Full inhale. Exhale. And lower the left knee down. Down dog. Tuck toes. Hips rise. Take a full inhale. And exhale. Jump on through the sit. Dandasana. Shoulders back. Chest up. One. Sit tall, legs squeeze. I want the inner thighs active. Two. Shoulders back and down. Three. Four. And five. Paschimottanasana. Exhale, fold, catch your feet. Take an inhale, look up, lengthen. This length you achieve here in your forward folds, very effective for Kormasana. Try to keep it as you fold. Exhale. One. Two. So my advice is to keep your chin up a bit. Three. Think about the back of the heart moving towards the toes. Four. Shoulders down the back. And five. Inhale, head up. And then we exhale, release. Porvatanasana. Take the hands back. Right? Fingers point towards hips. Point toes, squeeze legs. Inhale, hips up, head back. Maybe knees down, nose. One. Breathe up high. Two. Three, full even breaths. Four, 
Legs strong, press down, lift. And five. Exhale, lower, sit tall, inhale. Right knee bends, Janus Shasana. Foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, line up over that left leg. And then fold, exhale. Catch left leg. Chin up, inhale. Once you work on keeping the chin up, fold, exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Shoulders down the back, long spine. And five. Head up, inhale. We exhale and release. We turn the right knee up for Marichasana A. Again, for some of us, we might be, uh, it might be really useful, very handy for us to have a towel here. Because we're going to sit up tall, inhale. We're going to fold to the inside of that left leg. Now, if you were with me last week, you might catch the foot. You might use a towel. Keep that right knee pressing in. Or wrap the right arm around the right leg. If you can get that shoulder past the shin with a towel or without, left arm goes around back. You might bind the hands, right hand, left wrist, or clasp the towel. Take an inhale, long spine, and fold, exhale. One. Again, work on your shoulder strength. Right shoulder blade moving back and down. Two. So the upper arm bone is pressing into the lower leg bone. Three. Try to keep that left knee pointing straight up. Four. And five. Inhale, head up. And then exhale, release. Dandasana, inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, hands behind you, Purvatanasana, firm belly. Inhale, hips up, head back for three. And two, leg squeeze. And one, exhale, lower, nice and easy. Janusrishasana, second side. Left knee bends, foot to the inner thigh. Line up over that right leg as you inhale, then fold, exhale. If you can, catch right foot or use that towel. Inhale, chin up, and again, we're going to keep it up as you fold, exhale, one. Think about the length needed in the spine, and two, three, four, and five. Inhale, head up, exhale, release. Mary Chasana A, inhale, left knee up. Sit tall, exhale, fold to the inside of that left leg, and your hands might catch that right shin or the toes, maybe use that towel. Uh, but again, if you can, get that left shoulder past the shin, left arm wraps left leg, maybe you have a towel in that right hand, left hand if you can, catches right wrist, or grab the towel, fingers. Tall spine, inhale, and fold, exhale. One, keep the left knee hugging into the body. Two. Three, four, remember that left upper arm pushing into the shin, and five. Inhale, head up, exhale, release. Porvatanasana, straighten left leg, inhale. Exhale, hands back, firm belly. Lift to hips, inhale for three, and two, and one. Exhale, gently lower Pavishta Konasana, wide-legged forward fold. You don't have to go too wide, especially if you don't have real estate like myself. Inhale, sit tall, and fold. Exhale, see if you can catch the outer edges of those feet. Now, inhale, chin up. Exhale, keep the chin up and fold. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, release. Prepare to lift. Hug the legs in, cross ankles, plant hands, pick up in hand. The chaturanga. Exhale, hands plant back and lower. Good. Inhale, up dog. Into down dog. Exhale, rock forward, high plank. Inhale and lower through chaturanga and then onto your belly. Inhale, head and chest, lift on up. Exhale, lift those legs as well. One, two, three, keep the chin up, gaze down the nose, inner thighs lifting. Four, five, holding the position, reach the arms forward, palms face in. 
One, two, three, shoulders down the back, four, and five. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, exhale. Okay, now we're going to set that right foot outside of the right hand. Actually, I better do the other side first. Let's do uh, left, yes, left foot outside of the left hand, okay? Now, you're going to then bring the right knee forward between the hands and keep the toes of the right foot tucked. The right knee lands, and you're sitting back onto that left heel. So this is a variation of Vishramitrasana. Now, with that left arm, you're going to take that left arm, if you can, underneath that left leg as much as possible. For some of us with a towel or a belt, we wrap the towel around the left, or, yeah, the left leg, and we take that towel or belt with the right hand. Now, from here, we're going to press down into the left arm, try to straighten that left elbow, and at the same time, straighten the left leg and try to extend that left leg out straight as the body pulls through the right arm. One, and you might have that towel. Two, remember we're sitting back on the heel. Three points down. Two, left hand, right knee. Three, four, and five. Exhale, gently release. Good. We're going to take that left arm out and step back to down dog for a moment. Second side. Right foot outside of the right hand, left knee between the hands with the toes of the left foot tucked. From here, right, we're sitting back onto that left heel loop. Right, then that right arm goes underneath the right leg, get low. Right hand down, remember we're making this tripod. Right hand, toes of the left foot, and left knee. See if you can lift that left, right foot up off of the mat. Again, you might loop the belt or towel, or if you can, catch the outer edge of the right foot. As you do, inhale, try to straighten out that right arm and look underneath the right leg and look underneath the left arm. One, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, gently release. We'll move back to down dog. We take a full inhale. As you exhale, step, float those feet to the outsides of your hands. Like we did last week, we take malasana. Squatting yourself down on what the toes tracking. Same direction as the knees. Hands to your heart. And like I explained last week, you have tight ankles like myself. Roll up a portion of your mat to rest the heels. One. Press the spine forward, shoulders back. Two. Three. Four, and five. Now, butt lifts up, all right? We're going to take those hands, again, much like we did last week, those hands underneath the, the arms, rather, underneath the legs, hands cupping the heels, thumb and index. Exhale, kind of sink your butt, squeeze the knees into the shoulders, shoulders back, inhale, try to straighten the legs, pull the body through. Exhale, soften. Inhale, straighten, squeeze, shoulders resist. Exhale, soften, three more. Inhale, butt lifts, knees squeeze, shoulders resist. Exhale, soften, inhale, straighten. Exhale, soften, one last time, inhale, straighten. And exhale, soften. If you can, hand set back, Titipasana, sitting back onto the upper arms. If not, just sit yourself there. We try to straighten out those legs. And then we try to lower ourselves down onto our butt. And if you can, if not, just sit yourself down. Now, the modification for Kormasana, quite honestly, is just like so. Right? And then we just we have this nice shallow V-shape, keeping those knees bent as much as possible. As the spine warms up more and more and more, I'll turn myself here, then maybe, maybe the arms work their way underneath. We squeeze those knees in nice and tight. If you can, the arms reach out, press into the palms, activate the biceps, protect the elbows, draw the shoulders back, spine forward, then quadriceps kick in. You try to straighten out those legs. One. 
be ye just uncomfortable enough. Two, three, four, and five. Then we take Sukta Karmasana after that. So if you are familiar, then we work on bringing the soles of the feet together, much like we did in the Mary Chastanas and the uh, Bird of Paradise. We work the hands behind our back. Maybe you have access to that towel or a friend can bring them together, right, Steph? And uh, Ellie help one another out. And maybe you bow here. One. Two. Three. Full even breaths. Four. Eventually the legs go behind the head. Eventually. And five. Good. And unraveling yourself, we attempt, right? We might attempt to lift ourselves back up into the arm bounds. Inhale. All right? If you can, Bahasana. Exhale. Inhale. The Chaturanga. Exhale. All right? Inhale up dog. And into down dog, exhale. And we jump through and lie down. And we'll cap off this practice with a quick bridge pose. Take like those feet, those knees bent, feet hips distance, belly firm, exhale, tuck the chin, do a little crunch. Right then, inhale, hips rise. One. Two, maybe interlacing the fingers. Three. My body doesn't work going right into Urdva from this posture, but if you're feeling maybe upper bow, four. And five. Exhale and gently lower. Bring the knees into your chest. Inhale. And a gentle recline twist. Exhale. Both knees over to the left elbow. Gaze over the right shoulder. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Inhale, we lift the knees back up through center. A little shift to the hips to the left this time, and exhale, both knees over to the right. right gaze over that left shoulder. One, two, Three, four, and five. Good, inhale those knees back up through center. Exhale, hug the knees in, rock on up. Good, and we'll seal up this evening's practice or whatever time of day it is, wherever you might be. With the one ohm. We'll bring our hands to our heart. And we'll take a one full inhale. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. And meet me back here Monday uh, for part three. All right? Thank you. Peace.